So in this video, I'm gonna show you a technique on how to come up with the DFS pre-order and DFS post-order of a given graph. So in this example, we're gonna make the DFS pre-order and post-order starting from node A. So essentially what we're gonna do is you're gonna keep track of um, a order pair for each node. So if you're starting at A, we're gonna do one, put a comma there. And then from here, you're gonna look at the children of A, where B and D. And since they're the same distance apart, we're gonna break ties alphabetically. So we're gonna to go to B. So when we go to B, we'll put two, comma. See, so look at the children of B, only C. Put three, comma. Children of C is F, four, comma. Now that we see F has no children, nowhere to go, now we're gonna close this ordered pair. So it's gonna be same into the next number, which in order, which would be, since we ended at four, it'll be five. And let's see, we're going back to C. C has no more children to explore, so this is closed. So this would be six. Go to B, where we came from. Uh, B has no more children to explore, so we're gonna close this at seven. And then we we'll go to A now. And A does have a children, so we're not gonna close A. We're gonna go here. We just ended, we just left off at seven. So D would have eight, comma. Does D have any children? It has F and E. F has already been visited, so we're not gonna go there. So it's gonna go to E. So E is gonna be nine. E has children, F, but it's already been visited, so all his, all his children has been visited, so. We're gonna close this at 10, go back, D, no more children that haven't been visited, so this will be close to 11. And finally, we come back at A, A all A children are visited, so it's 12. So now you see all the nodes have an ordered pair. And to find the pre-order, you essentially just take the first number in the ordered pair, and go from least to greatest. So for the DFS pre-order, we're gonna go from, seems like A is the smallest with one. So A, B, C, F, D, E. So we're gonna go A, B, C, F, D, E. And I'll write down their, uh, ordered pair number just to make it clear. So A has one, B has two, C has three. This is a helpful way to double check. F has four in the first slot of the ordered pair. That's what I'm talking about. D has eight, E has nine. As you see, it's increasing order this way. So this is good. So for the DFS post order, we're essentially gonna do the same thing, except we're looking at the second number this time in the ordered pair. For pre-order, we look at this one. Now we're gonna look at this one. So from smallest to largest, it seems like it starts at F, goes to C, B, E, D, A. F, C, B, E, D, A. Once again, I'll write down the numbers. So F is five here, C is six, B is seven, E is 10, D is 11, A is 12. And yeah, that's my technique on how to construct DFS pre-order and DFS post-order. Thanks for watching.